Hi friends in this video tutorial I have explained the theoretical and practical aspects in the design of septic tank. In the theoretical aspect I have explained how to design septic tank. I have given stepwise procedure of design of septic tank. That is finding the internal dimensions of the septic tank. In practical aspects I have given the detailed information of the design of septic tank used in the daily practice by different consultants for designing septic tank. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Hope you will be enjoying the learning. Now we will learn theoretical aspects of design of septic tank. That is the stepwise procedure of designing septic tank. The designing of septic tank means finding out internal dimensions of septic tank based on requirements. Step 1. Calculation of number of users. In any septic system design this is very very important step as it will determine the total capacity of the septic tank required. This is the total number of user who will be using the septic tank within a single day. For the calculation purpose we must consider the maximum practical numbers of user who may use the water closet within day. The calculation can be done very easily, like suppose there is a four-storied building and having two families on each floor. And each family contain on an average of five persons. Therefore the building is accommodating two multiplied by four equal to eight families and again eight families equal to users of eight multiplied by five equal to forty numbers of users. Therefore here we will design a septic tank for forty users. Step 2, Calculation of Liquid Volume in Septic Tank. In this step we will calculate the volume of liquid waste liquid in septic tank which will occurs due to the use of forty users. For normal detention period it is considered in designing purpose that a septic tank requires 0.085 cubic meter of space for waste liquid of each person per day is sufficient for design, keeping in mind septic tank cleaning which will be done periodically, also a future provision should be provided, which in general is considered as 25% of the actual volume required. Therefore, volume of liquid by considering 0.085 cubic meter per capita per day equal to 40 multiplied by 0.085 equal to 3.40 cubic meter. Allowing a future provision of 25% extra, therefore. Total volume of liquid equal to 3.40 plus 0.85 equal to 4.25 cubic meter. Step 3. Calculation of internal dimensions of septic tank. Now we have to find out internal depth, length, and breadth of the septic tank. First of all we have to consider a liquid waste depth suitably from 1 meter to 2 meter for better efficiency. If the waste volume is large then we need to consider greater depth for making the length and breadth smaller to accommodate within the land. Then as we know, volume equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by depth. As we have already assumed the liquid depth so we can find length and breadth by calculating the surface area of the liquid surface by dividing the waste volume with liquid depth. Now considering the liquid depth of 1.20 meter, therefore, surface area of liquid equal to 4.25 divided by 1.20 equal to 3.54 square meter. Now assume, length k equal to twice the breadth, then. Step 3 Calculation of internal dimensions of septic tank, continued. Length multiplied by breadth equal to 3.54, put length equal to twice the breadth, then breadth equal to 1.33. Length equal to 2 multiplied by 1.40, length equal to 2.80 meter. Now this dimensions are must but apart from this we have to provide a clear space above the liquid waste in septic tanks so that the gas evolving from it can freely move and can escape through the vent pipe. For this reason we consider a gap above the liquid or free board of sufficient space, generally like the following. Consider free board over the liquid surface of 300 mm. Therefore, the internal depth of septic tank will be equal to 1.20 plus 0.30 equal to 1.50 meter. Therefore, the internal dimensions of septic tank will be 
length equal to 2.80 meter, breadth equal to 1.40 meter, depth equal to 1.50 meter. Now in further part of video we will learn practical aspect of design of septic tank, and practical design of tank which is used by different consultants and engineers for designing septic tank. Based on the practical experience here I have explained the procedure of design of septic tank for 25 users. Here I have explained the different sizes and capacities of septic tank for different users. You may use this for practical purposes. This is the sectional elevation of septic tank for reference only. I have taken this figure from internet and this is only for showing different terminologies of septic tank only. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. And enjoy the learning.